For over 60 years, the Westside Community Center has provided a safe place for Bartlesville youth. As per their mission statement, the center's staff works daily to unite and uplift the community by uniting, nurturing, and empowering its youth. As a United Way agency, the programs hosted by the Westside Community Center impact the lives of students throughout Bartlesville by giving them the resources which are essential to success in their academic and professional careers. In doing so, all Westside Community Center programs fulfill the United Way cause of nurturing children and youth. The After School Zone is a daily refuge for students aged 7 to 17. During the most volatile time of a child's day, students are provided with nutrition, homework assistance, and supervised recreation. Students are connected with subject-specific tutors in order to deepen their understanding of school subjects in which they are struggling. Every child participating in the After School Zone is held to high expectations of personal and academic success and are also provided with the resources to achieve these goals. Summer Enrichment is an adaptation of the Summer Fine Arts program, which provided students the opportunity to engage the arts and humanities during the summertime for over 30 years. The new Summer Enrichment curriculum includes academic reinforcement that seeks to keep children engaged in learning year-round. This is powerful stuff, kids. If you don't create yourself, then something, someone, circumstances, or someone else will create you and what they want you to be. So you want to take charge of yourself, you know. You want to be the person that creates you. For over five years, the Peaceful Warriors program has engaged Bartlesville Public School students in an unprecedented way by teaching self-control and violence intervention where it matters most, in the classroom. The following segment was aired on KJRH, Tulsa's Channel 2 news station. One program that's trying to make a difference. I'm so impressed with these guys. What they did is identified a problem. Mm -hmm. Now they're being brought into the school to help out. I think you'll enjoy what they're doing there. It's some... Say it after me, intimidation. Intimidation. They are heading back into the classroom to talk to these fifth grade boys. A crossroads time in a boy's life when they develop behaviors they will have as young men. The topic is bullying. His mind is his best weapon. If you don't know who you are, my suggestion is to start finding out. The bishop speaks frankly and challenges the boys to examine who they are and who they want to be. And that's the essence of the program, is teaching enough self-control and, and mental strength to avoid any of those problems. And time! Brad Johnson is hard not to notice. He takes the boys outside for an exercise in teamwork. The goal of Peaceful Warriors is to give students alternatives. A lot of kids are, are taught if someone starts the fight, you have to finish it. And we're trying to come through and say there doesn't have to be a fight at all. So far, they visit four elementary schools in Bartlesville, and they hope to expand the program to other schools. Young men. It looks like they have a lot of fun. Do you think they're getting the message that, that, that it's okay not to fight and those kinds of things? The counselor told me it's already had an impact on what's going on in Bartlesville, so it is working. Now, if you want more information on that, we put a link on our website uh, that takes you to the Westside Community Center in Bartlesville where you can find out more about the uh, Peaceful Warriors program. So we Prosper seeks to expand the American middle class by instilling a work ethic into local youth. Every year, the Westside Community Center takes 20 students aged 13 to 16 and trains them in workplace etiquette, resume building, financial responsibility, and a variety of other topics aimed at ensuring success in the workplace and thus financial security. After successfully completing the training in a mock interview, Students are placed in apprenticeships at a variety of local businesses and institutions, such as Bartlesville City Hall, the Chamber of Commerce, the Boys and Girls Club, and the Library at Oklahoma Wesleyan University, just to name a few. Students are compensated with an award that is the equivalent of just above minimum wage for successfully completing 100 hours of their apprenticeship. The Westside Community Center is really fun place to go at like the after school zone and 
the summer enrichment, the summer enrichment camp was really fun because I had never been to the Westside Community Center that much. And when I went to the summer enrichment program, it got me more closer to the Westside Community Center. Well, I've been coming here for many years and it's like a blessing to come here because when I was little, I used to live with my grandma and we barely had like food and education and everything and when I came here, it's just like, wow, like, it gave me everything that I needed and I loved it. Like homework and reading and puzzles and math and games and games. It's the West Side helps me read more and learn more about the things to do and like read fluently and like practice reading every single day. What I like about the Community Center is the people, the activities, the subjects, and the f new friends I make. So they can at least feel protective here and not like like they're gonna get hurt or someone's gonna try to fight them or something like that. Like you can, like you can get to know every person. Then they'll probably try to help you instead of people trying to gang up on you. We get to like eat every day. Also, our bodies can get healthier. That they help you and they help you read and do math. That's why I'm in third grade now because. Uh, in second grade, the West Side helped me move up a grade, and they always will. Thanks to your support, the West Side Community Center is able to consistently provide these services to more than 200 local children and their families. Please consider paying a visit to see your generosity at work.